you don't just do a Pacino, you do different eras of, of, of his career. That's true. First getting started, and then, you know, the Serpico years as well, the Godfather years, and then to the current sort of maybe a little bit over the top, scent of a woman type uh, Pacino. So I've got three scenarios here. Okay. Okay, one for each version, if you don't mind. Okay. For you, Titus Welliver, to give me your, your young Pacino. Okay. Talking about your favorite New England delicacy. Okay, so you've grown up in the New England area. There's oh, different there's types Panic, of Panic and Needle Park. Yeah, that's it right there. That so, was very early. I have to say, you know, Rich, the thing for me is uh, there used to be a restaurant on Boylston Street, and I, I was doing theater in Boston, and I would go there, and they had the freshest cherry stone clams you ever had, and a clam chowder. The clam chowder would knock your teeth out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Oh. Titus oh. I Wonderful. bet you Al Pacino has never eaten clam chowder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat that New England. I eat that Manhattan clam chowder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up is the Serpico uh, Godfather Dog Day Afternoon. I guess, is it, would you say that that sort of era yeah, of Yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the, uh, the, higher, the, the higher tones. Okay. Uh, if you, if you will, um, the, the longstanding argument for uh, Patriots fans over the last 20 years is who's more responsible for the dynasty, Brady or Bill Belichick? Do you have any two cents, Serpico era, uh, Godfather era, Dog Day Afternoon era, Al Pacino on, on who's more responsible for the success of the New England Patriots, the great quarterback or the great coach? I got to tell you, Rich, you know, the thing for me, you know, here's the problem. You know, Tom Brady, he's a great, he's a great ball player. He's a fantastic athlete, right? And you gotta love him. And Bill Belichick, right? I mean, he's sort of like a, he's a sphinx. You know, <laughs> he he's got two expressions, right? That's uh, silence and anger. And I admire that as an actor. But Tom Brady, I think, right? You know, he's the guy. He's out there. He's doing it. But he's also got a supermodel at home. I mean, who can't do well if you're married to Giselle, right? <laughs> so I think it's sort of a, you know, it's a combination of the two. But, uh, you know, I, I think uh, if I could do an impression of Giselle, I, I would give her all the credit. Oh, <laughs> a very nuanced take. <laughs> but I've heard about Pacino. Very nuanced. Not one way or the other. Take it right down the middle. I appreciate that. <laughs> Okay, and the last one for you, uh, Titus Welliver, is okay. the 90s era, I guess, okay. Al Pacino, the scent of a woman Pacino, uh, reacting to the news that Tom Brady has signed a $375 million contract to become a broadcaster once he's all finished. Uh, it was kind of a shocker to, to, to learn that Brady was going to do this, and then we found out how much money he's been given by Fox. I'd love to know what scent of a woman era Al Pacino thinks of that. Well, I got to tell you, Rich, I mean... <laughs> You know, talking about the thing, here's a guy, right, who has dedicated his life to playing football. Now he's going to go, he's going to sit in a chair and wear an ugly sport coat. Uh, I think, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe he uh, lost money at the market because uh, maybe he needs the money. But for me, it's kind of preposterous, right? That, uh, I mean, athletes, it's a natural trajectory. When you leave, you're going to do commentary, but... Uh, What's Tom Brady going to talk about? Mouthwash or cologne? But he's got that supermodel wife, right? So that's always sort of the caveat of that is he, uh, he's married to her. She'll keep him on a straight and narrow. But, uh, you know, maybe she uh, maxed out the plastic and he needs the money. <laughs> it's a pretty big contract, though, right? Uh, scent of a woman now? It's a pretty... Yeah, hoo -ah, that's a big contract, baby. <laughs> that's a lot of money. That's a lot of cologne, baby. Time is well, baby. Oh. Well done. That's great. It's now, impressive. That give the do. monkey a banana. It's <laughs> not. There's the booze. It's it's not. like mud around here. That's right. If I had a flamethrower, Rich Eisen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.